This week I am travelling as far north as we've been since the series started. I just hope it's worth the seven hour drive. Right, so that's it, first all done. I've arrived, a huge journey to get here. I hope this one lives up to his expectation. Buckpool Golf Club. First thing I've seen, lots of revetted bunkers. Greens are absolutely superb. And what I've seen from the first tee is we're not too far from the sea. Do you know what I think Scotland just must, uh, everywhere you go, there's good golf courses. And uh, this is another, you know, I'm, I'm a bit shocked as to how good this is. And, this is the epitome of off the beaten track because if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I've not really heard of Buckpool Golf Club before and perhaps you haven't either and that's the whole idea of this series. That's exactly what we're trying to do. There shouldn't be no such thing as a hidden gem. I hate that word because uh, yeah, you shouldn't be hiding your good golf courses. Make sure plenty of people see them. And I'm hoping by the time you finish watching this, uh, if we've done half a decent job, it might encourage you to visit because uh, it's certainly worth it. And I'm only sort of seven, eight holes in, but so good, you know. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, he's got it as well. Oh, yes. I think it's probably, uh, it seems the wrong time in many ways to uh, suggest the greens are really good because I've just told one, but they genuinely are. They, uh, I don't know whether you pick up on the roll on the ball from back there, but it's so true they look really good which is always nice so they've got a lot of uh, rich green color in them see plenty of definition right throughout the course between the cut on the fairways fringes and then the balls rolling good as well the only trouble is the rain keeps coming and then going because we've either got cloud or blue sky we've got more blue sky i managed to avoid the bunker i'm being a bit cautious at the minute i'm playing forward a lot which uh on a new course i always like to sort of get me bearings our greens look so good um, and what I'm looking at is 165. What I wanted to talk about was the people who make golf courses or golf clubs what they are. I met someone called Alex uh, who greeted us at Buckpool, told us a little bit about the golf course and was very friendly, very helpful. And uh, like I said, I don't know what his role is, but I certainly know he's one of those people that no doubt uh, put a great deal of effort in to Buckpool to make it all work. Right, 165, seven iron. It's a bit flat that hand in ball flight. Okay. I think I'm in the bunker on the left. It wasn't the best to be fair. Yeah, do you know what? I, it perhaps wasn't too bad of a shot, but uh, a well-placed bunker. But just look how good the greens are. They look so good. And uh, I can't tell you, we've just had an absolute deluge of rain in the last 24 hours. And uh, this is stood up incredibly well. Right, we just need to pop this one up and let it release, I think. Release a bit. Oh, I'll take that, that was good, I'm more than happy. It's a great area as well, this, you know, the, the Murray Firth is, I think, what it's known as and uh, you've got such a large amount of uh, golf courses to play that all pretty much sit uh, across, alongside this piece of water and uh, it's an area where you really can make a golf trip out of so you arrive here and you've got so many choices and variety and from what i've seen i've only been up here once before played three or four courses and uh, we're going to play three or four again this week and well if this is anything to go by so good up and down sun's coming out this week's photo competition is split into two parts due to so many great images from book pool here's part one right hole 14 is uh, well to be honest with you 
holes from the green of 12, hole 13, little par three, and then onto 14 is where the course kind of really opens up. You always know that the sea is not too far away, but um, yeah, when you stand on a 14th tee, 14th tee is very prominent. Um, I think it's Murray Golf Club is over the beach that's very much in sunlight right now, and right opposite is uh, Royal Dornoch, which is very much uh, being rained upon from what I can see. We're doing okay here so far. Oh well, the 15th, I think I spoke too soon about the rain. It's definitely coming our way, but uh, 220 yards off the back sticks and uh, well, we'll give it a go. Great par three, but uh, I'm all about the views as much as I am the golf holes, as you well know. And it'd be nice if we were stood on top of here with the sun shining, but there you go. And you look back the other way, actually, if you want to spin that camera around. And uh, stunning. That was a tough golf hole previous as well. 14 is, uh, yeah, that's tough. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Um, I don't even know whether I can get there with this. 220 into the wind. So we're playing forward off of the left. Oh, and you've hooked that well left. Oh my word, that'll take a wedge to come back. I think they call that in a trade, double crossing yourself. Well, it was a bad miss in terms of how far left it was, but also this angle in. I've got a little tiny pot bunker left of the flag and well, there's, there's nothing to work with here. Come on, Savvy. Go a bit, a bit more. Ah, do you know what? I think that's probably the sensible shot. Give me a chance of par. It's got a chance, you know. It's got a chance, it's got a chance. Oh my word. Oh. Well, that would have been a miraculous uh, par save. I think a four was, well, it was the best I could hope for after that uh, fairly wayward tee shot. Anyway, what a great par three. Where are we going next? is such a good golf hole. I've actually played forward. Um, I'm trying to work out whether I played white or yellow tees. And I can't quite remember, but there's a difference in stroke index. It's stroke two off the yellows. Not that it makes any difference, but it seems to be stroke two. Uh, off the white, it plays, I think it said stroke eight. But it's just so tight. But how good is it this time of year when you see all the yellow in amongst that, uh, in amongst that gorse? It's not good if your ball goes in it, but... It looks very pretty all the same. Should we go brave and it's a, another forward? I'm not really sure what lies where my safety net is. I think we'll go kind of try and go left of flag because I'm not going to get down to two, it's a par five. So come on, committed again. Oh, it's tight hand. Sit down ball, bouncing. I got away with that one a little bit. It certainly wasn't supposed to move to the right, and it did. But I think we're above ground. What a golf hole, though.
show you what I'm looking at. That is the sky behind me and uh, keeps coming in and out but that looks horrific over there and then you just swing round and you've got blue skies looking over the water and uh, well that's where we're going towards the 16th green on the horizon but um, what we certainly want is that sky to stay away just a little bit longer we're nearly there well I made my way uh, to green in reg and we've got well we've got a birdie chance of sorts but before I take this putt and see how we get on, I think we should do photo of the week. And before we get on to it, it's worth me saying that, you know, I really do appreciate you getting involved. So everybody who takes the time to vote each week, it means a lot. I've said it before. So Andy or Tracy in the comment section below. I think it's fair to say Tracy's winning by a bit of a way at the minute. Well, I hope that vote started with an A. Right, come on, let's see if we can get a birdie. Oh, and you haven't hit it. Oh, do you know what? I think I had that right online. How pure do these things roll, though? I mean, arguably, these are uh, the best greens I've played on this year, you know. And, uh, yeah, super impressed, two to go. golf course that needs more recognition. These courses can't remain hidden gems. My advice, stop visiting the obvious and get off the beaten track. See you next week.